So today we're going to be talking about how to start up a feeder breeder box. Pretty much a feeder breeder box is just like your feeders for your reptiles and stuff. You could do it with dubia roaches. I'm doing mine with mealworms because that's what all my animals eat except for the dog, of course. You can do it with superworms, but that's a little bit more complicated and I'll do that video later. So first, pretty much what you're going to start off is a shoebox, pretty much. And I've already set it this one, set this one up. But let me see if I can grab this one over here real quick. Like, let's see, any kind of like small shoebox. I, I wanted a small shoebox because it's not, nothing going to be really big in there. And like, it could just be any old shoebox you like. That's riding on it doesn't affect anything. Just put air holes in it. Air holes in the top. And then you're going to need mealworms. I got mine from PetSmart. It has a hundred. hundred count. And then you're going to need oats. This, this is what the mealworms eat. At first I thought the mealworms ate the apples. But they just get, like they eat them. But. They get most of their hydration from it. So you're going to need more apples and veggies and stuff. You're going to need apples too. But like this big tub of oats doesn't really cross, cost anything. I went down to Kroger and got it. So then you just pretty much dump in the mealworms. There's nothing in here. Like if there was anything in here, that's just dirt from the thing. Just dump it in there. Then get this. Get your oats. Then pour those in there. I'm not gonna pour a lot because this is just like a representation. And then like have a nice like it doesn't have to be real thick. Like it's not even a tip of my finger, but they still don't really mind. And this guy's taking a little munch right there. And then all you have to do is get potatoes, carrots, or apples, or anything that's like really juicy for real. And like I've heard of some people soaking theirs, like so it gets like a like more water inside of it. But I don't I don't do that. Like I like I'll try it I guess. And see if anything happens different, like if they grow faster or something. But it's it's fine like that. And every once in a while, like you'll just oh yeah, like every once in a while you'll just find a darkling beetle on top. And like these are mealworms, so don't pick the darkling beetles out. Now, if they were superworms, which are like a mealworm is. That size. Darkling beetle, like it. I mean, not a darkling beetle. That's something. A superworm is about like that. When a mealworm's like that. So, the dark, darkling beetles, they, they mate, lay eggs, they grow up. I'm not gonna mess with him because he's eating. Um, he's eating too. Um, this one. Like, it looks like this one. Is starting to pupate or go into its like stage before adult, and then he'll curl up into like a little like it's like a Pokemon or something. Looks like a Pokemon pretty much, or some little grub. But he'll he'll into that and they won't move very much, and and usually like the like the still like active mealworms will push them to the top so you'll be able to see how many you have usually and if they don't it's still fine because the darkling beetles will come to the top to breed and stuff and eventually you'll want to put like egg cartons in here because you'll have more darkling beetles and to finish it off what you really want to like make them feel more comfortable Put them in a dark space like a drawer.
Let me just close it up. And that is how you start a feeder breeder box. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm out.